Elaine Moore and her daughter Ava live just down the street from Anthony Wayne Elementary School. She was looking forward to Ava going to kindergarten there next school year. I wanted my daughter to go there, you know, just to be like fa our family went there. It was a family school. She was upset to hear it would close next school year because the Franklin school levy failed in March. It just sucks because now we have to drive, you know, 15 minutes out of the way on the other side of Franklin just to get her to school. Superintendent Dr. Mike Sander says they needed to make more than $2 million in cuts. To do that, they're converting neighborhood schools to grade level buildings. We love the way Franklin had the community schools. We want to keep those as long as possible. But unfortunately, uh, due to funding, we can no longer do that. He says preschool and kindergarten students will be in Skank Elementary. First will be in Gurky. Second will be at Hunter. And all of the students in grades third through fifth will be in modulars behind the junior high. They can't stay in the trailers forever. Like, it's scary. Because, like, I, I don't know. I just, I don't want, like, I'll pull her out if I have to. Dr. Sanders says by consolidating buildings, they were able to cut 26 staff members, including 13 teachers. Our over 80% of our um, expenditures are uh, salaries and benefits. So you can cut individual programs and not really save a lot of money. He says class sizes will be bigger and the buses may have more kids on them. But he says they're putting a lot of thought into making this work. I think a big thing people need to realize is change is difficult. And I think actually change is harder on the parents than it is the students. Moore hopes despite these changes, she can keep her daughter in Franklin through high school graduation. And it's scary for the future, but we just have to take it one day at a time right now. In March, 67% of people voted against the Franklin Schools levy. Dr. Sanders says that means the taxpayers overwhelmingly told them they don't want to pay more taxes right now. Because of it, the earliest they will put a levy back on the ballot is May 2025. Kyle. Chelsea, and out of the two elementary schools closing, Penny Royal Elementary was scheduled to close. Before that levy failed, the superintendent says it was closing for some facility issues. He says it's scheduled to be auctioned off coming up in June. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.